Our next story is from Saudi Arabia. It is buying diesel from Russia and in very large quantities. And yes, you heard it right. Oil giant Saudi Arabia is buying diesel from Russia for domestic consumption. It makes no sense until it does. Let me explain this. Both Russia and Saudi Arabia are oil giants. Together, they dominate the powerful oil cartel called OPEC+. Plus. Russia is at war with the West. Saudi Arabia has its own issues with America. They partnered with each other and they're challenging Western oil sanctions. So the world's largest oil exporter is buying oil from Russia. This is a strategic game. Saudi Arabia has bought two and a half million barrels of Russian diesel. Not in a year, not in a month, in just 10 days. I'll repeat that. Saudi Arabia bought 2.5 million barrels of diesel from Russia in just the first 10 days of this month. That's the most diesel Saudi Arabia has ever bought from Russia. It's unprecedented. Saudi Arabia is the world's second largest producer of crude oil. Russia is the third. Then why does Riyadh need oil from Moscow? Let's first understand how it makes business sense. Russia is selling oil at discounted prices, which is why India and China are buying Russian oil despite Western pressure. Those same discounts apply to Saudi Arabia, meaning Russian oil is cheaper. So the Saudis are buying cheaper oil for domestic consumption. They're also refining some of the Russian diesel and exporting it to third countries at a higher price. Now, if they bought two and a half million barrels in 10 days, the profits must be significant and worth the trouble. We don't have the exact figures of how big the Russian discount is, but we understand that it makes business sense. And the timing of this is interesting. Europe has recently banned Russian diesel. The EU embargo on Russian diesel came into effect on the 5th of February. And around the same time, the Saudis started importing Russian diesel. Do you see the link? Is it possible that EU nations are getting Russian diesel from Saudi Arabia? We cannot confirm it, but reports to this effect are doing the rounds, and we wouldn't put it past the Europeans. As for Saudi Arabia, the extra diesel from Russia will not hurt. It can use the cheaper oil at home and free up some of its own oil for exports at higher prices. And by the way, Saudi Arabia is not the only country doing this. Russian diesel exports to countries like Turkey, Tunisia, Morocco and Brazil are also rising. And this shows how the European embargo has already failed. Russia has found new markets for its diesel. Now to the strategic dimension of the Russia-Saudi oil cooperation. Saudi Arabia is recalibrating its relationship with the US. Its security dependence on America is still significant, but politically they've drifted away. The Americans wanted to turn Riyadh into a pariah state. They gave lectures on human rights and then their president flew down to give fist bumps to MBS. It did not work. Riyadh is now charting its own course, even talking to Tehran without America's involvement. It controls global oil prices along with Russia. The oil cartel, OPEC Plus, decides on increasing or decreasing oil output and oil prices depend on supply. Washington has been worried about this deepening partnership. In October last year, it accused Saudi Arabia of aligning with Russia. Listen to what the White House said. Well, we believe by, uh, by the decision that OPEC Plus made last week, they certainly are uh, aligning themselves with Russia. And right now, this is not a time uh, to be aligning uh, with Russia, especially with this brutal, unprecedented uh, war that they have started uh, in, in Ukraine. Now is not the time to align with Russia. Saudi Arabia paid no heed. It is ignoring American diktats and making money off Russian oil. The net losers here are the United States and the European Union.